It's a wonderful Monday morning here in Tampa, and I want to share you, with you folks a project I completed yesterday. Uh, this area of the garden last winter was where I grew that experimental vetch, uh, which is a legume uh, fed to livestock. It's a soil builder, uh, especially nitrogen. Uh, it, as I expected, it was a winter annual that required cool weather. It gave me a lot of greenery for the chickens. We had a couple very hard freezes this winter, and I've made use of that is my cassava plants froze back as did everybody's. Here's stalks laying in the ground in this garden and what I did yesterday is I took this stretch of garden here, laid the stalks on the ground, planted a whole bunch of gondouli beans and uh, more sweet potatoes including the Filipino white in the ground, then spread oak leaves over the whole area as a mulch and then did a deep watering because we are bone dry here in South Tampa. Let's go around the corner here. Hey girls. This area is where last winter I grew the uh, various rapes, especially the bonar rape, which again was to provide greenery for the chickens. Rape is in the same family as collards, uh, cabbage, etc. Again, it's a uh, very dependent on cool weather here in Florida. I knew it would die back in the spring, so I took this area yesterday, pulled up the remaining uh, dead stalks of the rape, and I planted a handful of white acre cow peas on the ground, again laid stalks from the cassava plants on the ground, oak leaves, and then a deep watering. Uh, one thing I omitted to mention is both areas received a few handfuls of a high nitrogen lawn fertilizer. I bought a broken bag of it at Home Depot some time ago to help build up a leafy growth in the plants. Uh, my only concern about this uh, white acre field pea patch is I, like a fool, threw the seeds in the ground, it was a hot sunny day, and they sat on top of the hot sand for about a half hour before I thought to put down the leaves and water. So I'm a little concerned that I may have heat killed them. We'll find out. They should be up in about, oh, 10 days. Let's swing around here and I want to show folks how the cassava plants are recovering from the freeze. Here's one here on the east side. You can see it's rapidly coming up from the base. It's a true tropical. It's the source of the root served under the name yucca in Cuban restaurants. Nice chewy kind of a potato-y plant. Here's my one gallon shower for the day heating up. And over here on the west side are cassava plants coming back from the base. Uh, this is where the most of the stalks uh, came from. Uh, the, in my soil the growth rate is very very rapid. By August they'll be easily 10-12 feet tall and across. Let's get another view of the garden. Here's facing east on that same bed. If all goes well, in about six weeks time, I'm gonna have a lush uh, cover of sweet potato vines, both conventional Thanksgiving type in the Filipino white, and about 12 to 15 gondouli beans, uh, which will help give me some shade cover for the garden, uh, help nitrify the soil, but also, uh, will give me edible pods for both me and the chickens. There's a nice little sunflower. That was it. I guess the theme of this uh, little spot is the idea of waste not, want not. A lot of people had a tremendous amount of plant matter produced by this year's freezes and hauled it to landfills. And I would greatly prefer uh, to make use of, uh, use of it to build up my soil. Let's see if I can get this spider web to show up. Nope. That was it. Uh, just try to make use of your garden waste rather than get rid of it because uh, once these stalks decay, I'm going to have a nice, rich, composty layer that should help give me a lot of food production in this area. Have a good week. Bye-bye.